May 9th is the feast day of Brendan of Bor. In fact, he has two feast days. One in the summertime of the year and the other November 29th in the wintertime of the year. Brendan came to the Midlands to the place that we know today as Bor to create his monastic community. Brendan was guided and inspired to choose the place of the springs to establish his monastery. The present Lord Roche, who has the name Brendan, explains to us the significance of St. Brendan's Well in the domain of Borg Castle. Brendan, a native of the Dacia country, was educated and formed by the great Finian of Clonard. Given the title in the annals as Brendan the Elder, to distinguish him from his contemporary, Brendan the Navigator, Brendan of Clonfert and Artfert. The name Brendan has endured over the generations as the chosen name for so many. It was a name that was chosen here in the parish of Bor for the new primary school that was built and opened in 1878. And the presentation brothers were invited to come and form the staff of this new school for the boys, complementing the girls' school, the Mercy Girls' School, established by Catherine Macaulay's Mercy Sisters. And the Presentation Brothers, for 140 years, have been involved here in education in our community. They began a second level school in the 1950s, which was amalgamated with the other two schools in the town to become what we know today as St. Brendan's Community School. Brendan's name is associated with both our churches, the Anglican Church and the Catholic Church. St. Brendan's on Oxman Town Mall and St. Brendan's on Wilmer Road. Brendan, his name is also associated with the local GAA club, with the park and the club. Brendan, who inspired and encouraged so many in his own time and over the generations. Brendan of Bor, you were a bright light in the Western Isle, guiding many to the fullness of life. Be with us now on our journey, bringing insight and hope as we search for the wisdom to make sense of life. Be our companion and our support.